Okay, I've just I've just hit the recall button because I did one of these. Um, I thought I was doing something. Uh, hang on a second, I've got to do that too. Oh. Just just bear with me because I'm still learning this stuff. All right. Yeah, that seems all right. It says recording. I can see a recording thing in there. Yeah, fantastic. The Even, oh, brilliant. Can you see the recording, Anna? I can't hear you, Hannah. I can't hear, can't hear Hannah. Her, on okay. her little box, her microphone. Oh, that's it. Is that better? Oh, it's gone off again. Um, no, I can't hear her. How about now? Ah, yes. Can I yeah. hear you, Tracy? Uh, I can hear you. And can you hear you? I'll tell you what. You, I can hear. Uh, what, what I'd like is Tracy and Hannah to have a chat with each other. Okay. Good, good morning, Hannah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello, Tracy. Oh, hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Nice you <laughs> I can see you properly now. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Would you good. like to? Uh, would right. you like to talk to each other about who you are and what you do, etc.? Okay. Um, Over to you guys. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let you do it first, Hannah, if you've done okay. this before. <laughs> um, my name's Hannah Ensor. I run Stickman Communications, which is a company that uses Stickman Cartoons um, products to help explain disability and in ways that makes it easy to relate to so instead of having to constantly make a big issue out of it or constantly talk about it simple cartoons that really get the message across and also make self-management easier improving understanding from everyone's perspective about living with chronic pain because i live with hypermobility syndrome and pops That's and what sorry pops postural oh. orthostatic tachycardia syndrome which basically oh. means my blood flow doesn't adjust properly to postural changes. So if I stand up, oh, okay. I get drunk. Oh gosh. Yeah, so oh, that's right. a, that can... <laughs> a gross simplification, but that's the basic oh. idea. Well, okay, well, all right then. Um, my name's Tracy Aspey. Um, I've had um, chronic pain for a couple of years now. I had some back surgery and I've developed nerve pain from that. Um, I used to work as a um, district nurse, but haven't, haven't really been able to carry on doing that role, which has upset me greatly, but um, I'm still in a, in a clinical role, but a phone-based role. Um, so that's where I am at the moment, really. Um, I'm just very interested to try and um, move forward and um, sort of help with things like this. It's very interesting, I think, to um, because pain is a can be very debilitating. So, yeah. oh yes. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> what, would you, uh, what would you guys okay. like to get out of the um, out of the workshops? What, what, what would you like to see? Uh, what, what, what would you like to see as the input structure, etc. Um. I just, it's really for me it's all quite new for me really um because i've only really just um probably accepted for myself that i'm gonna have this pain forever um and it, it's just sort of like coping strategies and trying to pace myself and just trying to lead a normal life i think really and not let pain take over um just yeah i'm just sort of quite intrigued by it all really. <laughs> I think I'd quite like to to see it as lots of little sessions so that mm. we're not making people sit at the computer for two hours at a time because yeah. obviously that's not good for pacing and pain. Um, no. But things like having like a short session on um, what pacing means and then of course everyone can share their ideas and you end up with a much better understanding. So you have maybe one or two people who are sort of leading, but then everyone has a role to play in building it. And then going, something I've found when I've been done a course, a presentation on pacing, is that afterwards people have got a lot of questions, including things like, how do you pace in a situation where you can't pace? You know, for example, mm. a school 
when you're in lessons at school and then having a group discussion of ideas of ways you can manage your condition in that environment is really useful when it's that multiple input thing so doing that kind of thing online i think would be great mm. no that that sounds like a, a good idea because you don't want too much information too soon because you can get information overload can't you probably exactly. yeah so that's 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 a, a good idea so um yesterday i um had my introductory session on the pain management program which i've waited for um for quite a long time to um get which on one? to and which one are you going to Tracy? Pardon? which one are you going to uh it's just the pain manage for just a pain management program run by the local hospital whereabouts is that um uh, in reading at the royal barks hospital okay. in right. berkshire oh, local to me then Adam, you're quite local to me. I'm in it near Oxford. Oh. <coughs> yeah, I live in Newbury, so oh. sort of, sort of yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, okay. Oh, I grew up in Wallingford. Oh, right. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> We're digressing a bit. Um, yeah. So, um, I found the session was for an hour and a half, and to me, that was too much information for me to take in of what what we were going to do over the next ten weeks. So, um. Yeah, so I think having like small bite-sized things would be a good, um, a, um, a good, a good start for that really. But I'm quite excited about this pain management program because I feel like even if I just got one little thing out of it to try and help me, then you know I think, I think that's what, to me, what people want as well. Just those little yeah. things. You don't want a whole big change. It's just knowing that um, maybe one thing can just sort of maybe make you sort of try and feel normal again i don't know <laughs> yeah i thought it would be intrigued i thought it would be uh, i've been thinking about this what would be the, the the content of the workshops and the thing is i don't want to make them too long because uh, mm. for a lot of people there can be a, a, a massive commitment but also yes. as already highlighted i don't want to make them uh, too long either because of uh, people's um ability to sit for a period yeah. of time and uh, whatnot mm. So what I thought, it was like to make them like, uh, perhaps four weeks, uh, once a week for four weeks. But during those four weeks, we uh, we go through the 12 tools. Yes. So it'll be like, uh, how many, uh, hang on, four, yeah, it'll be like, so, uh, four weeks. I mean, maths, I'll tell you what, Anne, I mean, maths, or tracing the maths a bit, now. <laughs> how many tools is that a week? Four, in it? Three, if yes. it's 12. Three, yeah, three. no, three weeks is three. 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 Three, three fours three, are 12. Three fours. So if you do it over four weeks. It's three a week. Three a week, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's Friday. But oh, maybe would, would some would some be longer than, than others? Would there be bigger issue areas to cover? Or, or I suppose it depends what the people want, I suppose, doesn't it? Or how it goes? I well, I think, I think well, it's going to be a, probably be about eight, eight to ten people. So, and if okay. we're going to keep them short and sweet, it, there's going to be limited time mm -hmm. for interaction. But I, one of the things with uh, what I found over the years is that people with pain is... Uh, well, uh, I always think that pain is like a fingerprint. And uh, what uh, we have, may have similar problems in pain wise, but how we deal with and manage them can be, um, can be challenging as well. But, so, what I want to try and do is to the actual workshop that I do, like face to face, I want to sort of try and adapt mm -hmm. that onto the workshops. But I'll be looking at um look we can look at uh, briefly look at the tools but i want to do interactive stuff as well like um setting action plans prop, uh, doing okay. problem solving and stuff like that because um and uh concentrate on the fact of uh, being active but not overcooking it as well not, uh, uh, so that yeah so it's um i don't want it to be uh, the workshops to turn into like, uh, like a, a war story sort of um um, no, I mean, you know, we're, oh, yeah, well, because it, it's about us moving on, you know, and this is for me. I mean, when yes. I was when I was running support groups back in the early days, it was a war story group, you know, it was uh, people just 
oh, I'm really crap this week or this month and whatnot, you know. Mm. But when I went to the uh, pain management program in 96, it was like I was, they were talking about, oh, uh, what's your goals? You know, we, we, yeah. we need to start looking forward, like, you know, and yeah, okay, you've got this pain, but we've got to learn how to live with it. Yes. So it's about moving on. So it's a bit of an, it's like a bit of a, I want it to be quite an active, a positive thing. I mean, um, where where we're learning to move on. I mean, I, I'm, as, as I've become an older person, I mean, I was, the program I went on was 20, 20 odd years ago. So, but as I've become an older person, I've um, got new and newer health conditions. And, okay. but, the, yeah. but the thing is with pain self-management or self-management, they're lifelong skills and they're adaptable for uh, yeah. for me, like, you know, how to manage things. Like I was saying, to, uh, back in 2016, I was um, diagnosed with prostate cancer and the fact that I can, but I'm, I'm tapping into my pain self-management skills to help mm -hmm. me manage that as I, as I take yeah. my journey. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and it's not about, you know, as uh, you said, Tracy, at the beginning, it's about... Um, your pain's going to be with you for some time, so it's it's a, it's about putting us back in the driving seat. Definitely. Because it, yes. what the what the will be in the nurse, you've been trained up in the medical model of care. Mm. Well, it's what are we going to do to you? Mm. Well, yes. really, the self management model is well, what the hell are you going to do for yourself? You know. Exactly. Well, I think I've I've not put myself first. Um, just be you know being in that sort of caring role. Um. I think now I've got to think more for myself. I know that sounds a bit selfish, but I think it's probably what got me here in the first place, caring for everybody, which caused my disc problem, you know? So I think I've got to really sort of look after, you know, look after number ones, they say, but at the same time, you know, um, I, I think as well, um, when you're saying it's all like these war stories, the thing is, um, if you don't know anybody else with pain and then when you do meet people that have got pain I think then you know people want to talk about it probably yeah. don't they but I, I know where you're coming from saying you need to move on but, but be, having be, pain can be quite isolated I know and that's, yeah. but yes. in the limited time we'll have yes. unless we want to make the, the these sort of an hour long yes so it's about being I mean, the thing, is, well, the thing is, once everybody, I was talking to, mm -hmm. um, uh, I was talking to this uh, guy called, uh, he's a pain doctor, for, he's, a, he's a Scottish guy, but he's, he's working in um, uh, near Brisbane now, he's, he moved to Australia, and then we were talking about this uh, a couple of days ago, and he said that when they've done similar things like this in Australia, is that uh, people stayed on the line, and mm -hmm. they wanted to, or they, uh, but they, because they can see each other, they carried on that conversation. Yes. So yes, yes. there's no, as long as everybody don't start stalking anyone, you know. No, I know what uh, you mean. Yeah. yeah. But um, mm -hmm. there'll be opportunities to mm -hmm. say, look, hey, uh, Hannah, yeah, I'll, can I contact you later on? Perhaps we can have a, yes. uh, mm -hmm. a Skype or something. Yes. Uh, I, I really want to pick your brain on that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, I think that's a good idea. Another thing I thought mm. was if, if instead of trying to do the sort of teaching bit and the discussion bit at the same time, yeah. if you have pre-recorded film clips for each of the subjects and then people can watch that at some point before the, mm. the multi-way meeting. Okay. So if I did a video, so I did a bit, recorded a video, and then both yeah. of it out. So right, next week we're going to be talking about mm. uh, tool one, two, and three, and four. And here's and, what the uh, tools are, blah, blah. Yeah, because the, the other thing I was going to do, like, is to... Um, have you got a pain toolkit, Tracy? Um, I, I'm i really struggling to um, um, get one off of the internet. I don't know if it's my computer, but I am trying to um, get a, a hard copy as opposed to the problem? store, yes. Okay, well, listen, if you're going to be taking part, what I was going to do was actually send one, a hard copy to everyone. Okay. So um, if you want to drop me a, uh, send, me a, um, send me a message uh, privately with your address, okay. etc., and I'll pop one in a oh. post, all right. Okay. 
And, right. uh, have you got one, Hannah? Um, I don't think I've got a hard copy. Okay. No. Well, so again, send me the address, and I'll um, and I'll I'll send it in the post to you. All right. That's so that, that's my plan, everybody. So they've got something there to to look at. To look at, and so they can yeah. see. Right. Well, Nick Pete says what we're going to be doing is we're um, going to be looking at tools. You know, perhaps do a bit of an introduction week one. Yeah. Yeah. But next week we're going to be looking at one's tool. It might even be a five week workshop or something, or six yeah. week. Yeah. You know. Mm. So as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking myself, four weeks is going to be tough, like, you know, trying to try yeah. around it all in, you know. And I want to give yeah. people time to, mm. to think about things as well, like, you know. Mm. So, mm. There's a newer version coming out soon, and I'll... Yeah, I saw that. And that's what it's going to look like. Oh, look okay. Yeah. So the little mm. characters are gone. So we've got, fun. Oh, okay. we've got pictures now, like they are on the site. Yeah. So the site, the pictures you see on the website, you'll see those in here as well. Oh, okay. But, and I've tweaked a lot of the content as well. But they're mainly, um, I don't know if you can see that, photographs, etc. Yes, yeah. So we're just, uh, someone pointed out to me, Pete, you need to revise it and uh, retire the uh, illustrations, but we need to get a bit more, uh, a bit more modern. Oh. So we're doing that. And also with the website, that's uh, Scott's working on it. I've got to meet with uh, Scott in a couple of weeks' time, the web guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're going to do is make the site more interactive. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've ever had an experience. Um, do you guys buy anything off of eBay or uh, yeah. Amazon? Yeah. Well, when you know on eBay, yeah. you buy or, mm -hmm. or Amazon or one of those sites, you and then all of a sudden something comes up. Have you thought about this? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. They call that um, what's the technical? It's like it's like website management. So what mm. we're going to do is do something there. So if someone's looking at something to do with sleep, a little pop up is saying there's some information about that here. Okay. So it'll be married up, like because a lot of the problems mm. people I get uh, quite a few emails. Well, Pete, where's the thing? Where's the information on the site about X, Y, Z? And I think, well, it's there. Mm. But some people. Okay. And you know, us lot are like a whip pain. We've got the attention span of a flea. So <laughs> sometimes we can't concentrate, as I, you know, becoming an older dude now as well. Um, <laughs> your brain gets a bit full up with information. Yeah. So we're gonna, the, the site's going to be a lot more interactive, and also um, there'll be a little chat bot there. So if I'm around, oh, okay. if someone got a question, a quick question, hey, Pete, what's the bit of the. Mm. As long as I'm around, I'm online. I can answer away. It's going to be more friendly, you know. So it's I want okay. that to have a little bit of a um, like a family sort of uh, thing. Yeah. Like. And also the workshops is um, like you like be a pain toolkit buddy, you know. Because mm -hmm. you know, listen, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm here and there and whatnot. But it's about um, how you how you support each other as well, like you know, because as you said, yeah. Tracy. You know, mm. that, that, that is massively comes up all the time. Mm. The word isolation. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. You know, you sort of, you know, people think, oh, but you look really well. And you think, well, yeah, I look well, but I don't feel well. You know, it's that, yeah. yeah. So you put you can put a front on, can't you? And and, co and, and cover it yeah. up. Um, and really, you don't, you just probably want to say, well, no, I'm, I'm not okay. But anyway, yeah, mm. so, um, definitely. Okay. So I think we'll we'll hit the brakes there. Are you are you okay uh, with me? I think this week I want to if I, if it's okay with you with your permission to uh, post this on the site so that people can see what we're up to, like you know, to give them a bit of an idea because it's sometimes well, what the hell does he mean? What's he talking about? You know, multiple screens. But if they can see mm -hmm. what we've been doing this morning. But I also, I'd like one sort of, um, a, f a few people did email me to say, yeah, I'd like to take part. And I did tell them about today. Um, mm. One sent their apologies and the others never, never come back to me. So I might have to do, go out fishing again and try and get a bit a few more yeah. volunteers, etc. like, you know. Well, I just found it by, um, I just found it because I've signed up to the newsletter. That's where I saw your, um, oh. your um, request for volunteers. Otherwise, um, you know, I wouldn't have... Um, Known, known about it so I was very you, uh, are you on facebook and things like that yeah i'm not re i yeah i mean i have looked i did look on the face your facebook page yesterday and that was 
very interesting. So I knew about all the changes that, that you're going to do with the new copy and making it more interactive and stuff. But um, I'm not really a big Facebook person, really. Are you not a social, uh, uh, social media person? No, not really. So I was very intrigued to, to see how today, how this was going to work. Okay. Because I've never done this before. So it's, this is well, very new right. to me. We're, we're all uh, Zoom, well, we were <laughs> Zoom, Zoom virgins, but we're That's now we're not. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's good that, you know, we can see each other. I think it's, you know, it's pretty good. So even though we're miles away, we're, we're still with each other, which I think is, which is cool. Anyway. Do you know what I mean, really, I was thinking about this at uh, in a gym yesterday. And I think, wouldn't it be really cool to, um, if we did like, uh, I mean, once we get a bit good at it, you know, because I'm still mm. learning about how it all works, but to um, do an international one. Mm. Yeah, that'd be that'd yeah. be very good. Because mm. there are people out there, and, and I mean, when I travel and I do uh, my talks to uh, doctors in Europe, mm. the pain self management is really non-existent, especially in believe. Eastern Bloc countries. It's normally pain management. Pain management comes out of a syringe or mm. a tablet. You know, there's no pain, pain management whatsoever. Like you know. Mm. Gosh, I still yeah. Well, um. I mean, I've worked in palliative care, so I know, you know, I've sort of had f first hand of dealing with with people that are, are in are in pain, and it's just not the physical side; it's the emotional, the psychological, the spiritual. It's it's every part of your being. It's not just that physical pain. So um, yeah, so I think it's um, I think it's amazing what you've done, Pete. I re really do. I think you've well, achieved. I, well, it's nice to say that, but. I've met some really nice people along the journey, Tracy, and um, mm. I've got mm. some really good buddies now in Europe, and um, the word's got out there at all. But all, all I just see, I'm just, uh, all I really see myself is like um, a traffic cop. I'm just directing <laughs> people, you know, because there's, there is a ton of information out there. There's a lot of crap mm. information out there as well. Yes, there but is. But it's yeah. about, uh, <laughs> and people, I get emails every day from people saying, oh, can you put this on your web? Like, but it's something where people have got to pay. And it's a treatment and all the other stuff like and No, you, know, you don't want to No, imagine. it's about you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a purist really. It's about well you know, because mm. I've done all that stuff. I, I did eight thousand quid on all that stuff like and I'm not I'm not there are good osteopaths out there, like yes. good chiropractors and whoever. But mm. it's about what we it's about having a um, self management, it's about living life to the full, mm. accepting that our, con our pain or our condition is going to is an unwanted passenger in our life. Yes. Uh, but making mm -hmm. room for it. Yes. Where we where we, where we yes. put it, we can shove yes. it exactly. in the back seat, in a boat on top of the car. Or yes. Where, you know. But it's mm -hmm. like living living for life to the full. And um, I'll tell you the best medicine to get: get yourself a Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I saw you, you on what, the news. That's, still, that's I mean, amazing. I'm looking out my. I've only got. I'm in one of my uh, bedrooms, and I'm looking out. The sun's out, and we've got blue sky out there. And I'm. I'm going to do some video in today. But I'm thinking to myself, how much video am I going to do? I'm not sure, but I'm going to. I might. I might have time to get out on the bike later, and I'll see. You know. But I'll tell you what. It's really. Um, yeah. Well, that, that's good. That's good medicine, isn't it? Yeah. It could be like all. All that, I need is a bit more hair. Medicine. That's your... Get, get my hair back, like, where the yeah. uh, glasses was, you <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> listen, if I have that, I, mm. I want to, I'm going to start working on, um, I think it's a good suggestion, by the way, Hannah, about doing a pre, uh, video. That would be useful, so everybody mm. sees that first. Um, but to, I'm going to start putting together, uh, the slides, etc. I might even, I might, in fact, I might even send out a PowerPoint beforehand. That might be useful. Yeah. Everybody yes. will get a, a, a free paint toolkit booklet, and I'll do a PowerPoint, but I won't do the whole thing. But I'll send out the slides what we're going to be doing that week. But I'll yes. be dragging the information what I actually do in a workshop, which is very mm. visual anyway. There's, there's nothing really. I don't when I'm doing a patient workshop or even a healthcare professional workshop. It's all um, the slides really are really photos really they might have a, a little bit of text oh, okay. and I'll, but I'll talk about the slides you know 
but it's going to be dead simple. But the main thing really for self-management is setting goals, action planning them, dealing with setbacks, you know, knowing on what to do if something goes wrong. But it's about moving forward. You know. mm, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm, what I want to do, I'm gonna sit, if I, I mean, want to I, do... I haven't... Go on. You carry on. I, I was just going to say, do you, um, is that something... Because I'd be um, keen to put to take some stuff to my my surgery um, and put something some some you know um some posters up sort of you know sort of advertising your your um your website and stuff like that because my GP um they, they didn't tell me about anything like like this but like you're saying you've tried and they're not interested so it, uh, it's tricky with the GPs because you know the, the moment the, the GP the, uh, in, in defence of them. I've got a lot of GP buddies and uh, they're really under the cosh at the moment with um, obviously the uh, this business like uh, they, they got they, they, it, since they've been holding the budgets and everything there's a lot more pressure on them and some of the older ones thinking I don't think I can do this and they're just thinking I, I'm going to take my retirement and off I go but there isn't mm -hmm. uh, there's a new ones with that experience and yeah. the, the mm -hmm. thing is as I learned the um, the, uh, when someone's learning to be a GP, how many hours do you think they get about pain management in seven oh, years? Hardly any, I'd have thought. Hardly about any, I'd have thought. About 19 hours. A few months? Is that no, it? Oh my God. Hours. No, hours. <laughs> hours? Oh my yeah, God. I was told the other, the other year That's by uh, a GP, uh, Martin, uh, when I was in London, and uh, and he said it's about it's 19 hours, so it's... And that's, that's, if they turn up, that's if they turn up those for those sessions, you know. That's true. So they, it really what they it's pain self management mm -hmm. is they uh, is they learn on a job, and that's why I do more workshops for healthcare professionals than I do patients. Okay. Mm. But then that's that's like the, the starting point because then they can pass that information to the patients instead of like potentially dishing out tablets and things, which is people think that tablets are going to be the be all and end all don't they that's it you give me something and sort me out but like you say it's a part of it's, it's the whole process of self-managing isn't it but it's so they, they try and do everything in 10 minutes and that's when i'm teaching yes. them and i say look it's it's 10 minute slots yes you can't get every you know you can do self-management yeah. in a time-based appointment but you've got to spread mm. it out over you know yeah. four or five sessions you know mm. but mm. you know there are gps out there doing it uh, Dr. Tim Williams and Dr. Ollie Hart up in uh, Sheffield. I mm. mean, I'll tell you what, they're, they're really good. I mean, they really do embrace patient empowerment, you know, and they promote uh, mm. health management. So there are good GPs out there, but they're very, very few and far between. Yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, one of our jobs, when, when once we get into being self-management, is part of our job as self-managers mm. is to help mm. other people. Yes, yeah, that yes. domino effect because you know, the, you know, there's only one Tracy, there's only one Hannah, there's only one Pete, but you can yeah. tell other people mm. as, as we train up other people. You know, the mm. other the thing is, I'm going to start off these workshops, but you know, at some point, I want other people to do to run them as well in their own communities, you know. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, there isn't. Um, I've sort of did a search in my area, and I couldn't see any sort of support groups at all. Which is, and I just thought, gosh, can you just feel like you're the only one? And I think they're like you say, there's a big demand out there for it, but you know, yeah. it's just finding it. Yeah, well, it's like um, I've actually decided to run. So I work with the Hypermobility Syndromes Association as well, and I'll be running a pace, pacing and pain management course aimed at hypermobile mobility syndromes um, at the end of February on the 25th um, and it's because there is nothing remotely similar no. provided by the NHS or mm. just there isn't anything else that lets you learn those skills of how to respect your pain but not be afraid of it and how to live well yeah. and make you know mm. have a rich and full life with mm. the body you have rather than mm. trying to get it changed yes no that's can I ask good. you guys before we go? Uh, can you did you know you can message? You can send messages as well. 
no. If you've got your okay. mouse, I don't know what I don't know what I, I know what I can say, but I don't know what you guys can say. But um, I think probably because I'm the host, like I've got more stuff. But there is a section oh, here where, where you can send. Uh, wait, you still there, Hannah? Do you want to? Yeah, bit? I am. Sorry, I'm on my mobile, so I can see it differently. Oh, okay. again. Can you? Is there a section there where you can see? With a type of message. Pass no. it. Okay then. Uh, I can't see that. Tell me if you see this. Whoops. Not bloody time. Oh, God. Right, there's something here. Okay, that's good. Anna says you're not in that meeting. Now, why are you private there? Oh, hang on a minute. Stay Hello. There. Right, can you can you see that? Oh, happy and healthy 2008. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so oh, so it's it's under chat then. Yeah, it's under chat. Yeah. And I'll just say. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. it's, I've just noticed as well. I've got a click thing just to make sure everybody sees it. But is there a section there where you can send a message as well? Like we we chat. Can you say like what you send a message? Okay. You, have you just uh, put on there? Hello, people, Hannah. I have indeed. There you go. Can you see that, Tracy? Um. Yep. Yeah. I've just oh. Send me a message, uh, Tracy. Just, yeah. Don't go sort of say how gorgeous on. I am. Don't, don't <laughs> put on there. Oh, Pete's gorgeous. I know I am, baby. <laughs> 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 maybe that's it no i don't quite know see this is me and it i've just i've just managed to save my chat and i don't know where it's gone so I've should we do another drive run at some time but got some other pe other people involved yes what i'll do that is i'll, get, I'll uh, message scott yeah. now and on monday i'll get him to send out or get him to send out via mailchimp to everybody who's on the, who gets the newsletter uh, to say to them, uh, I invite them to contact me to take part in another uh, trial um, pain target pre workshop or something, yeah? Yeah. Because yeah. We, I've got there's three of us here, but it'd be good to see um, yes. get other people involved as well, like, you know? Yeah, there, there is mm, an option no, to definitely. put your hand up. So I can, if I press raise hand, what yeah, I've got that. that. Yeah, I'll see that. What is that? I can see your hand's mm. gone up, yeah. I don't know. No. I think that means if you've got lots of people and you, someone wants to say something, they can put their hand up. Got it. Say okay. I've got something to say. Oh, so right. you don't have everyone talking at once. Can you see it, Tracy? Oh, that's good. Do you want to put? No, your I hand can't up? see that. On the top no. left hand corner of the screen. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant an icon. Yeah, it's like just physically put my hand. No, up. no. It's no. A, there's a little blue hand oh. uh, in a blue background with a white hand. No, I can't. I can't see I, it. I, I haven't got that. No. Whereabouts, whereabouts did you, you find it, Hannah? Um, well, I'm on my mobile phone. Okay. Um, but it was under the so where I've got the option to mute, stop the video, share the content, participants, etc. Then there's a little extra bit that says lower hand or raise hand. No, I haven't got that. You have a uh, wave your mouse around at the bottom of the screen, uh, Tracy. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, on the uh, there's a little task bar at the bottom, but it's not yes. showing hands or anything. Is there a little three dots that say more? Mm, no, I've just got invite, participant, share screen, chat, and record. Yeah. I haven't got anything else. Try, pa try participants. That's where I found the chat on mine. Oh, raise hand. Right, yeah. Okay, lower hand. Okay. Right. So it's about experimenting, really, or fiddling about with you it. You need really, to do another drop. Probably have to do another two or three dry runs. Yeah. Yeah, just to sort of ch check out where everything works, really, I suppose, isn't it? Um, yeah, because I mean. Turn, turn it into really clear instructions. Yes, because I'm not computer. I don't, I've never done anything like this before, so I'm very oh, no. new to it. So. <laughs> well, I'll let okay. you guys go. What I'll do is I'll, um, I'm going to stop, I'm going to press the, uh, to stop recording now.